Yeah, hi, hi everyone, how are you? So Michael here, just doing a quick video. Uh, I'm at work, I work in construction, as I've said. Can't stand working in construction, but you know what, I just thought I'd do a quick video and I'll close the door, hopefully nobody walks in and disturbs my video. If they do, I'm just gonna continue. So anyway, I saw something on the internet. I mean, talk about, listen, this is a coincidence. So this has really got me thinking. I saw a video so not a video, a photo. I'm I'm from Eritrea, East Africa. I saw a photo of Eritrean athletes meeting the president of Eritrea, Esser Safolki. You know, he's been in power for 30 years, no elections. Uh, and yeah, I mean, he's someone I've really wanted to meet for quite a while. I'd, you know, I'd love to interview him. I'm, I'm telling you, if, if me and him, if I do an interview, I mean, not even if, when. When I do an interview with that man, that's, you know, that that is going to be fascinating, you know, that's going to be mainstream, you know, forget interviewing people in boxing, you, you think I care what idiots like Dave Allen and Shannon Courtney have to say, I, you know, I want to get into politics, but anyway, you know, they met the guy, there was a picture of him meeting them, and literally less than five minutes later, someone, one of my Facebook friends, he's an Eritrean, he actually sent me the same photo, and uh, him and me are going to talk today, uh, but I just thought, you know, it's a bit, what's the, I don't want to say it's disappointing, but these guys are going to go to the Olympics. And I know people in Eritrea, Sports Commission, I've got different people I've been speaking to over the past year. I've got plenty of friends in Eritrea. And, you know, like for a few, for a few years now, you know, nobody's represented Eritrea in boxing or any combat sports, really. I mean, I had the opportunity in 2016. I mean, if I really, if I'd wanted to, I could have, you know, I could have tried to represent them. But I was very different back then. And I didn't really care about boxing. I don't, the person I used to be, I mean, I didn't mind watching boxing, but getting in there and doing it. I've never been scared of boxing. I mean, when I was 16, I sparred Tunde Ajayi, I sparred Wadi Camacho. You know, obviously both of them went very easy. But I've, I've sparred loads of people over the years. I've been in the ring with Brandon Rios, Kelly Pavlik, Tyson Fury, John McDermott, O'Hara Davies, uh, Isaac Chamberlain, you know. Except, no, I'm not trying to show off, but I just, you know, I've been around boxing for so long and I don't think I, I've achieved anything, you know. So, you know, I, I, I could have gone to the 2020 Olympics to represent Eritrea. Oh, I'm not delusional. I'm not like other boxers you know i'm not saying i would have i would have won but you know it would have been amazing just to get out there just to represent the country and i mean i'm not i'm not someone who gets jealous of people i, I never get jealous but yeah i am a bit disappointed in myself you know because like i say nobody representing them in boxing i could have but yeah you know obviously uh, never mind obviously it's, it's gone now but i really want to go to the next olympics and you know, I just, I need to start building momentum. i got a fight in less than two weeks now, which preparation hasn't gone very good. But you know what? I'm just going to fight him anyway. Um, I still believe I can beat him. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can beat the guy. It's a winnable fight. I mean, he's not, you know, he's, he's not invincible. He's not, it's, it's, he's beatable. If I thought he was just levels above me, then obviously I just wouldn't fight him. But I mean, with the guys had like 15 fights, I've only had three fights, I haven't boxed in 10 years. I still think I can beat him because I've sparred him before. So I know what he's capable of doing. Um, I'm just going to have to come to fight to win. And, you know, he might be watching this. So he might, he might not. You know, if if he is, his name's Kyle Davis. I wish you well, Kyle. I look forward to fighting you. And I mean, the guy's doing me a favour because I, I just haven't boxed in 10 years. so I'm, I'm, And it's going to be recorded, so you don't have to take my word for it. Um, I'm going to put it up on my YouTube channel. But, you know, I really want to go to the Olympics in 2024. You know, uh, I can represent Eritrea because there's nobody else doing it. And it's just something, just so, finally something like today's put a trigger in my head. Because I'm looking at these Eritrean athletes... They're meeting the president, but I'm I'm not. They're not as intelligent as me. They're not talkers. If I was to meet him, boy, I would uh, like the conversation between us would. I, I I'm not shy of people. I'm not. I'm very confident. A lot of Eritreans, they're they're quite 
nervous, like especially young ones, young Eritreans, they're very sort of shy around the older generations. And a lot of people are sort of, as soon as the president, the president, you know, he's, he's got a bit of an intimidating reputation. You know, he's a military sort of ruler. Um, but I'm not scared of him. You know, I mean, I don't, I'm, you know, I'm not really scared of anyone. You know, you just say the truth to people, and obviously it's up to them how they want to react. But I tell you, if you put him and me together, boy, you know how many Earths oh, it would be a fascinating. I'd ask him so many questions. I'd ask him about politics. I'd ask him about the Tigray War. You know, I'd ask him about the UN. I'd I'd ask him, you know, like Barack Obama called him a dictator. Uh, so that's Obama's words, not mine. Um, but I'd ask him. I'm not scared. I look him dead in the eye. I say, you know, Obama referred to you as a dictator. You know, how would you respond to that allegation? No, I'm scared. You know, what's he gonna do? Have me arrested? Yeah, but hopefully he won't. Because if I'm an Eritrean athlete, then I would, I would genuinely ask him that question. I'm not. I'm not lying. I'm not scared. If I'm willing to get in the ring with professional fighters like Liam Williams and get punched in the head. I'm not asked to scare. I'm. I'm not scared to ask. You know, awkward questions. But like I say, I mean boxing. I'm not saying I won't interview people in boxing, but it's just not interesting. I don't care. I'm not. It doesn't motivate me. It doesn't. I want to. I want to meet people like Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump, and these are the sort of conversations I want to have. It's not complicated. I can. If I can just get a CS or for a follow key first. If I can just get that one. Then obviously people sort of know what I'm about and like I said, I'm, I'm going to save up some money. I need a new camera. So, you know, I'm going to I'm going to buy a camera probably about eight, nine hundred pound. So obviously when I'm trying to interview politicians, then, you know, it, it looks better, you know. Uh, yeah, but like I say, I really want to go to the Olympics in 2024. But, you know, I'm I'm serious now. Like, today's... I've had enough. Like, I'm 30 years old. I'm working on a stupid... Look look at this here. Look at all this dust. And I'm working on a stupid construction site. And, I mean, look, I'm very calm-natured. Obviously, that's just life. I've made so many bad choices in my life. I'm going to go to school... Co college, sorry. I'm going to go to college in... In September to study adult A-levels. But I've, I've had enough... I'm stuck on this construction site working with people that don't even speak English. I, 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 there's nothing for me to. I'm just here. I'm just doing. I'm sweeping up, and I'm 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 a labourer. And I've had enough of it. Like it's just frustrating. I mean, I'm I'm aware. I'm not saying I'm upset or anything, but but it's not not just me personally, but all the people watching this. But a lot of you is like, are you doing what you want to be doing in life? Because I remember when I was sixteen, seventeen. If I was to look at my life now, I'd I'd think I'm a loser. I'm not. I'm not where I want to be in life, and I don't know why. I mean, I'm. I'm very intelligent. I'm much more intelligent than most people. Take a lot of these people in boxing. A lot of people in boxing are stupid. Like they overhype fighters, but it's not about hyping fighters. You have to build momentum over time. Have fights, but you get carried away with the things you say. I used to spot a horror Davies, like over ten years ago. I used to be able to. It was about 50-50. Well, nah, not... he, he could always punch harder than me. So you could probably say 60-40 in his favour. But obviously if I fight him tomorrow, obviously it's, it's not going to be as even as it used to be. Now, maybe I can get to a point, but I'm saying it takes time. I can't just call him out tomorrow. I'll make myself look stupid. And, he, and even if he does get in the ring with me, I mean, if I keep... I'm sure he'd spar me, but obviously if, if he comes to beat me up, then... I'm gonna get beaten up, you know. But give it, give give myself six months, uh, and I'm not gonna call him out. I'm just gonna get in touch with him. I mean, last time I met him was about a couple of years ago, and he, he actually gave me his phone number. But yeah, you know, I, I messaged him a couple of times, and he was a bit busy with training camp, so I just deleted his number, which was a mistake. So I'm just gonna have to find him, meet him again this year. I know where he trains. I know he's trainer, so. Um, I'm just going to try and get in touch with Ahara Davies, spar him on camera and just build momentum. But this is the thing about people in box, they're stupid. Like They get carried away with the things they say. You hype these fighters up and you're, how can I phrase it? You're, you're giving them unrealistic expectations. Like when people are trying to say, 
Billy Joe Saunders can beat Canelo. No, he can't. Or what's another fight that we can talk about? Um, Kel Brook can beat Golovkin. No, he can't. he's not going to beat him. If you think Kel Brook can beat Golovkin uh, at the time, if you thought he could win, that's like saying Katie Taylor is a better public speaker than, than you know, myself. You know, well, she's not going to beat me in public speaking, is she? You know, but it's like it's unrealistic expectations. And then, what's that mean? It's like me trying to say, all right, take Isaac Chamberlain, who's a, who's a professional cruiserweight. When we were kids, like when we were teenagers, and I'm like four years older than him, I was able to spar him then because he wasn't as big as he is now. I can't spar him now. He's too. If you if you're talking about friendly sparring, but I I can't I can't take him like all out sparring. If this was 2008, him and me used to spar all out. But he was like I said, I'm four years older, so I was 19. He was 15. He wasn't as big then. He was tall, but he wasn't. Big, but I think by the time it was two thousand and ten, like he, I'm telling you, that guy grew quick. No, no, not ten, two thousand and twelve. Yeah, two thousand eleven, two thousand twelve. I sparred eyes at Chamberlain, and he was big by then. He hit me one body shot. I went on the canvas, rolling around because he was too big. A cruiserweight versus, you know, a super featherweight. Because I mean, that's what I I was at the time, or even now. But look, you know I've had enough. Like, I'm 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 coming for beast mode. I'm gonna i I'm gonna try to knock someone out this week in sparring. Like I've had enough. Like I play I spar people and it's like I, I know I'm better than them and I just I'm, I mess around too much and but I know people in boxing like Ian Lewison. I should be meeting Ian Lewison today. So not today, this week. I'm gonna have a chat with him. But Ian Lewison's a guy who's very talented, but he doesn't train hard, so his boxing career's gone nowhere. You know, he hasn't, you know, he lost to Joe Joyce and, but you know what, I'm sick and tired, I've had enough beast mode from now on, I'm going to train hard. Um, I sparred someone last week who was about six foot two, uh, but obviously he, he's not really a bot, he hasn't got boxing experience, he's quite big and he can punch, but I sparred him and it was quite easy. I mean, he hit me a couple of shots, which hurt. But as I said, I was too much for him. Let me try and find him. Yeah, I'm gonna try and find him again. We're gonna. I got his number. But if I can spot him this week, I'm gonna upload the footage. Uh, and like I say, he's a big, strong guy. So that'll be. It'll be a good thing for you. Like when I, I'm telling you, he's big. Like six foot. Two, like he is big. But I can still beat him. But I, you know, I don't mind sparring him for a bit of, just for a bit of training. But. I need to. I want. I want to start trying to knock people out in sparring. I mean it. Like I've, I've had enough. I'm stuck on the construction site. You know. I'm. I'm going to go into rant mode. I'm stuck doing this stupid job here, and I'm just looking at the door. Hopefully, no one comes in. I'm stuck here doing this stupid job, and everyone else is getting on their lives. You've got people like Ebony Bridges who I respect, and you got all these other fighters and Conor, B and they're all. You know. Enough for now, yeah. But I. I, I want to be a boxer. I want to be pro. You know. That's my plan. I've, I've had enough watch I'm going to try and upload loads of sparring footage this week but I'm a fair guy anybody that I'm going to go hard on I'm going to make sure it's a fair sparring session and I will tell them I'm going to go hard I'm going to go hard you know but I'm, I'm obviously I'm not a liberty taker I, I'm only going to do it with people that are good you know because otherwise it's just a false sense of security but there's plenty of people I know that are good as good as me so um, I mean there's this one guy I'm a better fighter than him but He's very fit, very fit. So um, he's 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 a problem because he's fit and he's sharp. But the thing is, yeah, I'm more experienced than him. But he's had more fights. But I've had more sparring. But you know, I talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. Like I've had enough. Like I mean, I've been in the ring with people. I've sparred Tyson Fury before. I've sparred Brandon Rios. Like how can I spar people like that? Obviously, when I say spar, I'm just light sparring. But I haven't boxed in 10 years. Like, what kind of nonsense is that? You know, and you've got all these people in Sky Sports. Some of them are good fighters. Some of them are bad fighters. But it's because I'm lazy. I haven't fought in 10 years. I don't train hard. But enough now. Enough's enough. My life's going... You know, I'm 30 now. You know, if I keep going the way I'm going, then, you know, I'll be too old to box, you know. So, no, you know, today's I'm making a change. I'm going to go to sleep at 10, start breaking all the bad habits... I stayed up late last night. I was watching films. Uh, I I was watching Scream. Scream. I watched the first few one. I've seen all four of them now. So 
I must have slept about two o'clock. I woke up. I didn't have any energy to run. So I didn't even have breakfast because I got up late. So come to work. Come to this stupid job. Like, you know, I've had enough. I'm making a change now. You know, uh, I think Michael Jackson sang a song about that. Man in the mirror, make that change. But anyway, I've got to go. Someone's coming, I think. Take care. I'll do more videos. Oh, and make sure you all change your lives around. Don't just keep doing the same stupid jobs working at Tesco's. or Unless that's your dream to work at Tesco's, which is nothing wrong with that. But, you know, maybe you could become a Tesco store manager and work your way up. But are you doing what you dreamed of when you were 15, 16? Because I'm not. I mean, my life's just not, it's not what I want it to be. And because I'm such a joker and everything's funny to me, I just don't take things seriously. But I'm like, no, it's enough. I've spied people like Devin Haney. I spied Devin Haney when I was 21 and he was 14. And I mean, you know, but all these guys are going on uh, having pro careers. I can, but it's just about having, you know, I just need to have fights. And I've got, I, I've got like at least five, six fights booked for this year white collar semi-pro fights so that'll keep me busy you know i'll be i'll be able to sort of get my name out there build my name up but enough for now anyway take care thanks for watching